Hi guys. So today for story time, I have two books to read today, all about unicorns. Okay. This first book is called How to Catch a Unicorn and is read with permission by Sourcebooks. How to Catch a Unicorn. Now, in this book, the unicorn is on almost every page, but if the unicorn isn't on the page, follow the rainbow. Okay? So let's see if you can find the unicorn on each page, see if you can catch it. Okay. On this bright and sunny morning, I want something fun to do. So I'm riding on a rainbow and I'm headed to the zoo. The kids think they've spotted me. I think I'd blend in here. I cannot let them catch me or my magic will disappear. Is that a unicorn? I think they can fly. I believe they fart glitter. I heard they can shrink. Let's go catch them. There's the rainbow. what happens. Luckily, my animal friends from the zebra to the ape are all on board for help to help me. They'll make sure I escape. The penguins, the zebras, the ducks, the lions. First, I see my stripy cousins, but then I have to fly. As much as I like lemonade, I have to say goodbye. So they tried to trap him with the lemonade stand, but it didn't work. Off he flew. I dodged the plastic parachute being launched from down below. I do a spin and leave a trail of glitter as I go. You can see his feet, his hoods. I chill with my penguin pals, but these traps are everywhere. So I heard, heard I head to the nocturnal house. I hope it's safe in there. There are the penguins. There he goes. Way up in the corner. Wow, this room is super dark. I'm glad I'm a unicorn. Who knows what I might walk into without my special magic horn. That trap, big bowl of ice cream. Got bats, All kinds of creatures. Now I'm off to see more friends. It's time for me to shrink my size, but it sure is hard to see in here with all these butterflies. They try to catch him with a net. Didn't work, because there he is. Way over here, got smaller and smaller. Now we're at the petting zoo. And the sign says, unicorns eat for free. My nose smells something super sweet coming from the cafe. Oh, yum! I snag a little bite before I fly away. He's still so small, he just zoomed right through the jello. Next up, I go where it's hot and where there's lots of scales. The snakes and lizards help me, though, with their clever use of tails. There's a unicorn way up there. There was the trap, but it didn't work. I'm big again, and with more friends, these monkeys make me laugh. But I would have gotten caught easily if it wasn't for the giraffe. They almost got him. They got the giraffe instead. Poor giraffe. 
boat. What's over there? A paddle boat? This could be lots of fun. I would stay in the water, but my friends are roaring. Run! So there it goes, right there. So the lion saved him. While visiting my beaver friends, I spy a welcome sight. My true friends come to save the day with their bold, brave beaver bite. So the kids had made a unicorn castle. And then the beavers crashed it. So off he goes again. The gift shop. Who doesn't love the gift shop? Gift shop makes the perfect place for your elaborate trap. But luckily for me, there's a decoy to safely take the rat. You see the decoy? Right there. I've had fun with my friends today. The zoo has been a blast. You try your best, your traps were smart, but unicorns are really fast. Now it's time for me to go and maybe take a nap. Meanwhile, keep on trying, kids. I'll be back to best your traps. Better luck next time. Wasn't that a cute book? I love this book. I love, there's a whole series in this, how to catch a dot, dot, dot. We will actually be reading how to catch a unicorn next week. This was how to, I mean a unicorn, how to catch a dinosaur next week. So, unicorn is so cute. I love the pictures. So this next book is called, It's Okay to Be a Unicorn. Cute. This is Cornelius. And this book is written, or written, it's written by Jason Thrapp. Thorp. I'll get it out. And we have permission to read it by Macmillan Publishing. In the quiet town of Huffington lived Cornelius J. Sparkle Steed. He was famous for making incredible hats. So that's the whole town. Isn't that neat? I have a Ferris wheel and a big barn. It's very cool. It was almost time for Cornelius's favorite holiday festival, Hoofa Palooza. Can you say that with me? Hoofa Palooza. That's hard to say. Hoofa Palooza. Hoofa Palooza. Hoofa Palooza was about everything horse tastic. And it was always, it always had the special finale performance at the end every year. Last year, Bonnet pulled a statue of Abraham Lincoln. Get it? Abraham. Abraham Lincoln across the field. And the year before that, Clyde stomped the alphabet. For this year's Hoover Palooza, Mayor Mayor called Cornelius to town hall for a special request. So Cornelius is a havoc, and that's his truck. He makes all the fabulous hats. And that is City Hall. So the big farm that we saw on the map, that's City Hall. I want the most un hat you can make, the mayor said. All, uni all Cornelius could think was to say was, sure, Mr. Mayor, and he went home to get started. But watch as we read his hats change. See how many hats he wears. Has a different hat every day. As Cornelius, I'll get his name right, Cornelius worked, he thought about how Huffington's horses were nice to every horse except unicorns. I make magic happen with a rainbow. Free to be me. 
They say lots of mean things about unicorns. It's not very nice. Cornelius knew none of it was true, but he never said anything back. And he always kept his big secret hidden under his hat. And what they used to say right here was, their horns are too sharp. All they care about is magic. They fart rainbows. Poor Cornelius. When Mayor Mayor picked up his hat, he said, oh, wow, it looks great. Your hats are so creative. I'm choosing you to perform the final show at Hoopapalooza. I can't wait to see what you do on stage. That's horrific, Cornelia said. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. I won't let you down. He's got a different hat. Right? You got a little unicorn. So on Monday, Cornelia stopped by his friend's Tilly's donut shop. Congratulations on being picked for the Hoofapalooza finale show, Tilly said. I've been working on new flavors. What do you think? Cornelius took a bite. Holy hey, these are so yummy. But have you ever thought of making even more exciting flavors? Like maybe chocolate hay fever? Or wowie straw strawberry? Or super sour green apple grass? Tilly looked thoughtfully. On Tuesday, Cornelius ran into his friend, Pablo, at the Hoofington Heart Supply. They both wanted the last tube of sparkle blue, bright blue, so they agreed to share it. I need that blue for my mural for Hoofington. <laughs> I promise I can speak today. Hoofapalooza. I feel like it's missing something. Well, have you thought about adding a double rainbow? Cornelius asked. Or wait, a triple rainbow. So Hablo looked thoughtfully. You look at his hat today. Looks like a cactus or a moose. Could go either way. On Wednesday, Cornelius galloped to DJ Sally's recording studio to ask for help for the music for his Hoofapalooza performance. I'm down with that, DJ Salad said. Check out this track I just made. Do you like, do you think it sounds right? Wow, it's fantastic, Cornelius said. But what if it sounded like, what would it sound like with a wind chime or a harp or maybe even more cowbell? DJ Salad looked thoughtfully. So Cornelius is giving everybody these great ideas and he's being such a good friend. For the rest of the week, Cornelius made his costume for his Hoofapalooza performance. It had everything he loved, bright colors, glitter, and sparkles. While he worked on his costume, Cornelius tried not to think about all those mean things Mayor Mayor and the other horse, horses always said about unicorns. He's put a lot of work into that. On Sunday, every horse was having fun at Hoopapalooza. Yearlings, those are baby horses, were getting dizzy on the tilt a wear barrel you see the world. <laughs> and ponies were eating way too much fried hay. But even though he loved the festival, Cornelius wasn't having any fun. Poor Cornelius. He's stressed out. He's worried. Before his show, Cornelius peeked out from behind the curtains. He noticed Hablo's mural had a quadruple rainbow. So he had four rainbows, not three, but four. 
Dilly's donuts looked even wilder than anything Cornelius had imagined. Chocolate hay fever, straw strawberries, and DJ Salad's music had wind chimes, harps, and cowbells, and even a kazoo. How crazy. Those are all his friends. Oh my, hey, Cornelius said, and he felt ready to put on his costume. When the music began to play, Cornelius stepped out on stage, the curtains parted. What do you think his costume looks like? Hmm? Let's see. Cornelius put on a prance to end all prances. His moves were flawless. His flow was magical and he looked awesome. As the last music note played, Cornelius pulled off his hat and yelled, I'm a unicorn! His bright, shiny horn. And that's how he goes to his friends. But everybody else was like, wait a minute. You're a what? A unicorn. But then something happened. <gasps> The crowd erupts in cheers. All the horses at Huffington loved Cornelius. And for the first time, Cornelius felt great about being himself. He realized that things that made him different made him unique and special. Mayor Mayor even declared a new Huffington holiday, Unicornist Day. And Cornelius said to the crowd, the key to happiness is accepting your unicornness. Your unicornness. And every horse cheered. Be. So remember, be like Cornelius. Be your own unicorn. And live through your unicornness because you're special and unique and there's only one of you. Be a unicorn. That's Miss Barb's new motto. My new saying, I'm going to be a unicorn. Yep, I got my unicornness. So, since we're being unicorns now, we're going to make a unicorn. Yep, and it's a 3D unicorn. Isn't it cute? So, in your packet, you have this. And I went ahead and colored mine. I would suggest you color before you cut it out because it's going to make it easier in the long run. It's going to be easier to color if you color it on the sheet. And then you can cut it out. Okay? Okay? So, Take a few minutes, pause this video, go ahead and cut out your pieces, and then unpause your video, and I will show you how to put it together. Right? Have fun! Okay, so all our pieces are cut out. We have the body, we have the cloud. We have the tail, we have the head, we have horns, the ears, and the mane. Okay. So we're going to start with, put those aside, we're going to start with the cloud and the body. Now, you might have done what I did when I made the other uh, unicorn. I colored the hooves wrong, ah, and I didn't realize it until I tried to put it together. So one side, this is the top side, one side, and see I did it again. One side is colored pink, right? This will be the front of the unicorn. Okay. 
and then we need the back hooks and the way they're going to be attached they need to be shown this way so whatever color you colored your hooves just flip it over and color one side that color just like that okay Right. Now, once you're done, you're going to bend the hooves like so, and then you're going to bend the front hooves like so, and you'll see why in a minute. All right. So the front hooves are sticking up, and the back hooves are sticking down. So we grab the cloud and our glue stick. And we're gonna put glue the back side of the front. And either side is is okay to put it. There's no wrong side to do this. So I'm gonna put the front on this side close to me. Push it down just a little bit. Right. And then the back this way. Almost looks like a back bend, you know, like any if any of you guys are in gymnastics and you practice your back bends, this is kind of what it reminds me of your back bend. But you see this way, hooves, either front or back, they're showing. Just like that. All right, so we're going to put that aside for just a second and grab the face. So you see at top it says glue. So we're going to put glue down over the glue. We're going to put glue on glue. All right, now we're going to wrap there we go. All right. Now then we're going to add some more glue, but we're going to put it on the seam where we attached the two ends. Okay. Now, whichever end is your front, this is my front. I'm going to attach it. So you're going to put a hand underneath it to help support it. Okay. Press it down just a little bit, just long enough for the glue to stick. Okay. Isn't she cute, little lashes? Okay, so I'm going to put her aside for a minute. We have the tail. So we're going to bend the tabs up so it looks like that. So bend it up. Just like that. Okay. So flip them over. I'm going to add glue to the back, but don't glue the tabs. Glue the tabs in a minute. Just put glue on the tail itself. Okay. And then put them together back to back. So they it almost it mirrors each other. Right? And then leave the tabs open like that. And push it together. Glue on the tab. Okay, so we're going to turn the unicorn around. And on the back side, behind his head, you're going to put the tail on and just glue the tabs down. 
just like so. Here we go, we got the tail on, coming together. So now we grab this piece. This is his mane, his hair. Long, flowy hair. So the mane can go in several different places, just as long as it's on his head. You can have it up kind of like bangs, covering his eyes, or back here, like it's long and flowing, like he's running. Um, it's totally up to you. So we're gonna put the mane on. I think I'm gonna have it kind of in between. I think he's still, I think he's standing still. So he's gonna be right here. There we go. Okay. Now, do the ears. So once again, we have tabs. So I'm gonna turn, fold. Tap back. These are teeny bitty tabs. Hold it back. Okay. And put glue down on the tab. Not the ear, but just the tab. And remember, if you made a froggy, remember how part of his eyes went down with just a tab? Because we had made our own tab that day. This is kind of the same same principle, same idea. Just go, just glue the tab down and the ear stays up. Let me move it over just a little bit. Because remember, we still have to put the horn on. He needs his magical horn, so we need to leave room for the magical horn. So we can glue the other one down. My glue stick does not want to stay up. So I'm going to move this ear over. Like so, there we go. Okay. So the horn we're going to put together much like we did the tail. So we're going to bend the tab, bend the tab out. And you can make your unicorn any color you want. That's the beauty of unicorns. They're not all the same. They can be any color. It can be all one color. It can be rainbow colors. Okay. So now we have our two tabs. So we're going to flip it over. Put glue on the back. And then put, put them together like so. Almost looks like a caution cone, like a little traffic cone. <laughs> okay, then we're going to add glue to the tab, just like we did the tail. But the tail, remember we put on this way. I'm going to put the unicorn, the horn on this way. And I just realized that we probably should, I'm going to move my mane because it's in the way. So that's the beauty of glue. It takes it a while to dry. You can move it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what I did was I put the horn on and now I'm going to put the mane on. Again, okay, there we go. That's better. I hold it better. See? Now my fingers are a little gluey, but that's okay. You know me, I like messy. And there we have our unicorn. So I hope you enjoyed making your unicorn. And I can't wait to see pictures of it. Please share. Please send them to Facebook or my email address. 
uh, bcurry at appl.info. Have fun making them. And remember, be your own unicorn. See you later.